The government says it shares Mr. Hammond's concerns about tobacco smuggling, but assures effective action is being taken. It says 600 cigarette cartons were seized on the same day as the footage was filmed, and another 250 cartons two days later in exactly the same location. But no one, not even Mr. Hammond himself, reported the filmed incident to the police or customs. It says since the GSLP was elected into office in 2011, there's been a significant rise in the amount of cartons seized by customs and more people arrested for smuggling offences. The government says it has also made significant amendments to legislation with the aim of targeting tobacco smugglers, such as amendments to license conditions, a tightening of club licenses, the establishment of special zones and customs posts on both Eastern Beach and Western Beach. Hardly, it says, the work of a government which is turning a blind eye. The chief minister says residents of the Waterport Terraces area will be interested to learn that the customs headquarters, including its anti-smuggling team, will shortly be relocated to the neighboring waterfront. He says that although smuggling has not yet been totally eradicated, the number of customs officers has been increased and he is extremely proud of the work done by these officers.